Hi, my name is Shane Stater. I currently work at Western Computer as an Assistant Account Manager. And today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about the quote to cash process within Business Central. I'm going to be showing you how to enter a sales quote, sending that quote via email to your customer, converting that quote into an invoice, posting the invoice, and then converting that invoice to cash. As you can see, this is our Business Central home screen here. I did want to say you can press F11 here and go to widescreen view. It's a lot cleaner and I personally prefer it. So I wanted to start by entering a sales quote. There's three ways we can do this. We can go up to the sales tab right here on our ribbon bar and click sales quotes. We can simply go to our action here, enter sales quote here, or even in the middle of the page, a sales quote here. Start by clicking on your sales quote. We're going to go ahead and choose progressive home furnishings in this case. Something very important before I continue is this information tab here. So this allows you to see your sell to customer sales history. And why is this important to you? Well, because you can go see the ongoing sales quotes for your customers. You can see the posted sales shipments and any ongoing sales invoices. Something very key and you can always hide it with this information tab here. So I'm going to start by airing the item I want to be shipping to my customer, which in this case is a lamp. I'm going to go ahead and tab over, select one quantity. In this case, I do not need to assemble anything, so I will skip that task. I will go and enter my tax group code, which is furniture in this case. So now I have my quote here. So we're going to send this via email to the customer. So now it will pull up a preview of our quote, our total, and our estimate number. We're going to go ahead and send this to myself for now. You can see, see anyone on the email thread as well. Must go ahead and select OK. So now here we have our quote. It's been sent off to the customer and they have approved it. So once I get the approval back via email, I'm going to go ahead and go and enter my sales invoice. So pulling this up here, we're going to notice that the Progressive Home Furnishings is the last customer I chose. I know that the document number is 1026. I'm going to go ahead and make this into an invoice here. So once I have confirmed, it will open my new invoice here. I'm going to go ahead and post this invoice depending on whether or not they have paid me yet. In this case, I'm going to assume they have already paid me. So we're going to go ahead and post this. So now this is going to say this has been moved over to a posted invoice. So we can click yes or no to view it. In this case, I'm going to view it. We can move that over to have a little bit more real estate on the page. So I'm going to go ahead and go back and we're going to convert this invoice into cash in our bank account. We're going to go over to the cash management tab on our ribbon. and We're going to hit the cash receipts journals. We're going to go over to our general ledger. We're going to hit the posting date as today. It's going to be a payment from the customer from Progressive Home Furnishings in the amount of $50 for the lamp. We can tab over. We're going to take it out of their checking account because they told us to on the approval. We're going to go over here and we're going to link it to that invoice that we just posted. By clicking the three ellipses, we can bring this up and view our invoice that we just posted. Make sure that's all good and linked. We're going to go over to process and post this. But before we post it, we want to go back to our actions here. And we're going to go scroll down on posting and we're going to preview this. So now we can see it's hit the general ledger three times. Hit the customer ledger once. And we have a total detail ledger right here. So now that I know that it's going to post properly, we're going to go ahead and post it. This journal line was successfully posted. Great. We're going to go back to our home page. Now just for fun to see if this actually posted, we're going to go over here to our checking account and see our balance. Now as you can see here, document type 2013 for $50 for Progressive Home Furnishings right here. So thank you for watching. I hope it was informative. Please let me know if you have any more questions. Feel free to reach out to me at shane.stater at westerncomputer.com. Thank you and have a great day.